Thank you very much, staff. Thank you, students. Once again, I would ask if you could refrain from your conversations now. And I just ask if you could place yourselves in a position whereby we need to listen carefully this morning because this morning we gather as a community to recognise the milestone Year 12 are experiencing and we would like to recognise the achievements of this year group and the valuable contribu contributions that they have made to Good Samaritan Catholic College. To commence this morning, I would now like to invite Jacob May forward to lead us in acknowledgement of country. I wish to acknowledge the Cabrigal people of the Darug Nation with great respect to the traditional custodians of the land on which we gather today. I pay my respects to, el to the elders past, present and future, for they hold the memories, the traditions, the culture and hopes of Indigenous Australia. So therefore, as a Catholic community gathered in the presence of our loving God, let's commence with the mark of our faith. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. As members of the Good Samaritan community, our Year 12s have shared in the life of the college, and in particular the prayer life of the college, over the last six years. On many occasions, they have heard their God speak to each of them, through the sacred scriptures, through relationships with one another and through relationships with all members of our Good Samaritan community. This morning I invite forward our outgoing 2018 school captains, Nora and Joel, along with the assistant Year 12 coordinator, Miss Roach, to come forward to read the Gospel from Luke. reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Just then, a lawyer stood up to test Jesus. Teacher, he said, what must I do to inherit eternal life? He said to him, what is written in the law? What do you read there? He answered, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and your neighbor as yourself. And he said to him, you have given the right answer. Do this, and you will live. But wanting to justify himself, he asked Jesus, And who is my neighbour? Jesus replied, A man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell into the hands of robbers. He stripped him, beat him, and went away, leaving him half dead. Now by chance, a priest was going down the road, and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. So likewise, a Levi, when he came to pass, he saw him pass by, by the other side. But a Samaritan, while travelling, came near him, and when he saw him, he was moved by pity. He went to him, bandaged his wounds, having poured oil and wine on them. Then he put him on his animal, brought him in an inn, and took care of him. The next day he took two denarii and gave it to the innkeeper and said, Take care of him. And when I come back, I will repay you whatever more you spend. Which of these do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of robbers? He said, the one who showed him mercy. Jesus said to him, go and do likewise. The gospel of the Lord. Father in heaven, we ask that you hear the prayers of your children gathered here today as we come to farewell our Year 12 students. We thank you for the gift that they have been to this community 
and pray for them as they journey forth into the world to continue your mission. They have shown us how to learn and how to play, how to work as members of a team and how to work hard as individuals. They have shown us how to care for one another and how to reach out to the wider community. We ask that you look over and guide them as they move into the next chapter of their lives. Lord, hear us. Father, we ask that you might watch over these students as they enter the final weeks of preparation for their high school certificate exams. Send them the spirit of wisdom and dedication so that they may remain focused and do their best. At the end of 13 years of Catholic education, we pray that each of these students might remember to keep Jesus Christ at the centre of their lives. We pray that they might remember your commandment to love you, their Lord and God, with all their heart and mind and soul. Lord, hear us. We ask, Lord, that you hear and answer these prayers which we ask of you. Protect all of our Year 12 students. Keep them safe as well, sorry, and well as they leave us here today. Encourage them to use their hands to heal, hearts to love, and words to spread the gospel message of Jesus Christ. We make this prayer and all of our prayers through Christ our Lord and Saviour. Amen. We'd now like to welcome forward College Principal Ms Donovan to address our Year 12 students. Good morning, Year 12. Today is always a really emotional day for all of us. We'll be for farewelling a group of students who've made such a unique impact on our school. We've seen your great school spirit and the pride you have in your school on so many occasions. The leadership you showed last Friday on Good Samaritan Day was second to none. Your enthusiasm and genuine commitment to the day was contagious. The whole college community got into the spirit of the day. You've made the House Cup so competitive as ever. And thank you to TJ for all those motivational uh, videos as well. We've seen this tremendous school spirit on so many occasions. The recent stay out, the sports carnivals, your strong relationships with one another, and your willingness to support those who struggle. I also want to acknowledge your efforts with your schoolwork. When I read your final reports recently, I was impressed with the number of students who are trying their hardest. My hope is that you'll receive the results you deserve results much better than your wildest expectations. You people have also made a significant contribution to being the second group through both Newman and St. Joseph Trade Skills Centre. The success of these two major college initiatives was so dependent on the commitment of the early groups like yourselves. You're also an extremely talented group. You've been outstanding in music, drama, choir, and also debating. I particularly want to highlight the contribution you've made to the faith dimension of the college. Never before have we had so many practicing Catholics who are absolutely committed to their faith as members of the student leadership team. Choosing the nominations for the Archbishop's Award this year was the dif most difficult it has ever been. Your support of Archdiocesan evangelization initiatives like World Youth Day and Australian Catholic Youth Festival was outstanding. Who could forget all that singing led by the Good Samaritan students at the Australian Catholic Youth Festival? In the train, in the bus, at Homebush, while we were walking, while we were sitting, in fact, the whole time the Good Samaritan students were singing. And this wouldn't have happened without Joel's unrelenting energy and enthusiasm. We've also appreciated your personal qualities. You're pleasant, friendly, and respectful. You, you're always genuine and open and willing to listen to advice. And you've definitely gained the respect of your teachers. I thank Joel and Norma and all the elected leaders, TJ, Zoe, Madison, Braden, Dominic, Chanel, Courtney and Terry. You've been outstanding ambassadors for your school. But I also thank all the other Year 12 students who've shown leadership and taken initiatives to support our community. I imagine you have mixed feelings at the moment I'm sure you'll all be relieved when the pressure of the HSC is over. But you're leaving a place and people who've been such a significant part of your lives. I know you'll always keep in touch with your closest friends, but after today, you'll never again be part of this group at Good Samaritan Catholic College. 
I speak on behalf of your teachers when I say that our prayers and thoughts will be with you in the coming weeks and we wish you all the best for the future. Remember to go confidently in the direction of your dreams and the belief that you can make a difference to our world. May you always stand up for the value of human dignity and the promotion of justice and love. Your Catholic education has been based on the belief that each of you is a very special person, made in the image of a God who will never stop loving you. From everybody here, good luck, Year 12. Thank you, Miss Donovan, and it's always very apt. The Miss Donovan speaks from the heart and says unequivocally that the contribution that Year 12 have made has been simply outstanding. We now turn our attention to perhaps a couple of other people in our community. These people have uh, decided to put their hand up and give us an insight into a couple of our Year 12 students. And I invite forward now Jacqueline, Georgia. I also invite forward uh, Annalise and Annalise. And I also invite forward Flynn and Katrina, just to say perhaps a couple of points about some students in our Year 12 cohort. My big bro Joseph, caring, loving and a tech head. He would always walk to school with a smile on his face, eager to learn. He always has great ideas that create a memorable and joyful time for others. May God guide you and all of the Year 12 students through your HSC exams. Joseph, I hope you become an electronic specialist and build me a cool clap on light system. My reflection is dedicated to my amazing sister, Lauren Issa, who is currently about to finish Year 12. Lauren, there are a few words I would like to say to you as you are preparing for your HSC exams and about to finish your schooling path. I thank you, Lauren, for the great support you have shown to me at school and at home, whether it is you helping me through schoolwork or sharing moments at home. You are not only my sister, you are my inspiration, my best friend, and the person whom I would like to grow up like. I thank you for being my big sister, staying right beside me through all the obstacles we have shared as sisters and as a family. You truly deserve the best for your future, for your career and life in general. You have achieved a lot throughout your schooling and have made a great success. This has been reflected in the way you are respected by your peers and teachers. I would just like to say that I'm the luckiest person in the world to have a sister like you who has never given up on me taking care of all my needs, both socially and academically. I hope your dreams of entering the field of law comes true. I will always be there for you as you have been for me. Good luck to you and to all the Year 12s preparing for their HSC. Lauren, I wish you the very best for your HSC and your, f and your future career to follow. I know you can achieve great things and you will make the best of it. To finish with a quote you once shared with me, if you fall behind, run faster, never give up, never surrender and rise up against the odds. Good luck, God bless. To all Year 12 students, we wish you good luck in HSC and in the future. You will be in our thoughts and prayers during this challenging period. This next part goes out to Lauren and Ange. Dear Angie, I hope you know I love you and I'm so proud of you and all the things you have accomplished. I will always be here for you. I'm so happy that you got into the uni you wanted to. Anyway, remember the time I remember the time you're coming home from school one day with cuts on your knees and a broken laptop because you fell from the top of C block stairs <laughs> right to the bottom. Only my sister. And now to my favourite sister, Lauren. Wow, you're graduating. I love you so much and I'll miss you like crazy. Thank you for all you have done. Good luck in the future. <laughs> Dear Lauren, I wish you the best for the future and I hope you know that I will always support you no matter what. I'd also like to say good luck to all your friends. By the way, I'm surprised you have friends after that time our brother embarrassed you on your first day in year seven. You walk into class with your new friends and he comes up to you and asks, Lauren, why were you fighting in your sleep last night? <laughs> Amazing first impression. And to the better sister Ange, really gonna miss you in our conspiracy chats. Wishing you all the best for the future. Love you guys heaps.
to Connor. Thanks for always showing interest when I'm doing stuff that I enjoy. Thanks for being inspirational to all of us every day and showing us that no matter what challenges we may face, we must have to overcome, we can still come to school with a smile on our face. Thank you for always reminding me that we are late for school. But most of all, thanks for being a supportive big brother. Good luck with everything you choose to do in your future endeavors. Melanie, or should I call you Melissa? <laughs> I honestly don't know what to say about you because you treat me like your little peasant, but I still love you. Since I'm forced to say something nice, here it is. Take pride in how far you've come, have faith in how far you can go, but don't forget to enjoy the journey. Graduation is not the end, it's the beginning. I wish you all the best lot. And good luck year 12, graduates of 2018. May you all have faith in God as his plan has just started for your adventure to begin. I'm sure there's other stories, but uh, we'll leave them for another time. I'd also now like to welcome forward Nora and Joel. On behalf of the student body... On behalf of the student body, they have done a fantastic job as college captains for 2018. We thank them for their contributions to the college community. Don't hide down there, come up the front. And on behalf of the school community, I'd also like to thank our Year 12 student leaders. These two couldn't have done it alone, and we do thank the large number of students involved in leading 2018. We now invite forward, as we've said, Nora and Joel, to give their final college captain's address. All right, last time, here we go. All right. <clears throat> uh, I hope we don't stuff up today, Nori. All right. Um, <clears throat> good morning, Ms. Donovan, members of staff, students, and most importantly, the graduating class of 2018. <clears throat> As college captain, we are very humbled and grateful to have represented the Good Samaritan community this past year. And it is truly an honor to address you all this colorful ceremony. At 8.30 a.m. on the 28th of January, 2013, 200 students in oversized blazers were ushered into what would become our home for the next six years. There we took a tour and wondered how on earth we would memorize our lock code and find our way through this hectic maze called high school. Now, approximately 2,067 days later, we have gathered again for one final time. Finally, our journey of compassion here at Good Samaritan Catholic College comes to a close. Some of us may be relieved, others satisfied, but nonetheless, we are all reflecting on these past six years and celebrating towards the future. Ladies and gentlemen, this journey would not have been as smooth if it were not for our loving God, who has sustained and empowered us, as well as the 140 members of staff who have dedicated countless hours before and after school to guide us, encourage us, and prepare us for this moment. In particular, Ms. Donovan, whose passion for this college is manifested in the graduates sitting before me and Mr. Griffiths, who is committed to the four L's, language, landscape, learning, and being late to class. <laughs> We'd also like to extend this thank you to the PC team, who for the past two years have the privilege and burden of printing our goal sheets, collecting our tears, making us laugh, and most importantly, being our number one supporters. So we thank you, Ms. Weber, Ms. Kawaja, Ms. Martin, Ms. Nasser, Mr. Borg, Ms. Cook, Ms. Celia, and Ms. Mitzef. <clears throat> to Mr. Berto. Oh, wait, sorry, I mean Mr. Zacharis. <clears throat> sorry, sir. <clears throat> In year 10, we were blessed with having you as a new year coordinator. <laughs> Sorry. 
Uh, hold up. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> That's funny. Standing in the corner of A1 and A2 with his hands folded, and I, and I could tell he was frightened and nervous. Ever since, the bond of this youth group and the compassion and enthusiasm is a credit to your guidance, wisdom, and love. And we're going to praise you enough. Mrs. Zacharias, if, it, if there is one thing we will remember apart from your butterfly catching, that's right, <laughs> he catches butterflies, <clears throat> and marathon running, <laughs> it is to pull our heads in, to watch the pennies and the pounds will come, because at the end of the day, we are the author of our own stories. And to Miss Roach, the grade second mum, your awkward laugh while reading the notices, <laughs> your humble demeanour and the delightful conversations that we have shared brighten our day in ways you cannot imagine. Thank you for being a great mentor and most importantly, a great friend in the toughest of times. In this, oh. <laughs> oh, that's me. <laughs> no, that's you. <laughs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, sorry. Um, to the year 12s, we started from the bottom, and I guess the whole team is here. As the final weeks of this year drew to a close, we found ourselves thinking about our last. Our last first day of school, our last school assembly, perhaps our last chicken burger from the canteen. <laughs> and hearing our names called for the last time. But amongst these lasts, we also found ourselves thinking about our many firsts. Your first day of high school, your first attention, your first high school friend, your first assessment task. Although these moments have quickly dissolved into memories, they nonetheless shaped us in, into becoming the strong men and women we are today and are therefore worth more than any certificate or ATAR. I wish there was a way to know that you were in the good old days before you actually left them. Remember that time when the school flooded and it went viral <laughs> on Channel 7 News? Thanks, Dom. <laughs> Pulling all-nighters with your friends. Flipping bottles on top of C-Block. <laughs> Sharing laughter and tears at retreat, some a bit more than others. <laughs> Finding our faith at World Youth Day 2016 and the Australian Catholic Youth Festival in 2017. Pieing teachers on Pi Day. Performing together at Good Samaritan Day. And anticipating the House Cup videos, thanks to TJ, Shayna and the leaders. Whenever we felt like giving up, it was moments like these that allowed us to persevere and rise to the challenge. A wise but simple man once said, <clears throat> My mama always said, You can tell a lot by the person by their shoes they're wearing, where they're going, where they're being. That's from Forrest Gump, by the way. <laughs> uh, like, if, if you didn't know, that's from Forrest Gump. Through tightening our, shoe, our rugby boots in 2014 to win the Year 7 and Year 8 Grand Final, putting our tap shoes for the Good Samaritan Day, pulling our socks before every debate, walking to Hungry Jack's after every exam, only to see half the grade there. Always remember the wise words of Mr. Bodo, Mr. Birdo, whatever you put in, you get out. <laughs> whatever shoes you wear and wherever you, they lead you, wherever, wherever that it is in the classroom, parliament, NASA, or a contraction site, at the end of the day, never forget the place you walked from, Good Samaritan. To the juniors, your most important lessons these next few years will not be learnt inside a classroom, but through the opportunities that you seize. Whether it be academics, performing arts, sport, or just being a Good Samaritan, Year 12's constant desire to make a contribution to the college and share their talents has set the standard high. And we challenge you all to get involved in the school spirit and just have fun. And to our successors, Year 11, during the next few months, your mind will be overwhelmed by ranks, student numbers, UAC fees, and, and, spec what? <laughs> oh, and speculations about where your future will lead you. However, however, cherish every moment with your teachers and peers, and whether you feel like giving up, please remember, you are not alone. This 
place has imbued us with many gifts, and to show our thanks, Year 12 has kindly presented the school with a gift of its own. Thank you. The statue of the Virgin Mary represents her strength and great faith in God, as she said yes to her calling to bear Jesus Christ. Hence, in times of need and doubt, we hope Mary serves as a reminder that God has a plan for you and will be with you every step of the way. Finally, we would like to leave you all with a piece of spiritual nourishment found in Jeremiah 29, verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Year 12, may God bless you in the upcoming HSC exams and your subsequent future endeavours. As Mrs Mutu puts it, try your best and let God do the rest. Stay positive, keep smiling, be kind to one another and God bless. Thank you. Thank you, Nora. Thank you, Joel. And as always is the case, well done. A, a fantastic summary of events that have taken place throughout the course of your time here. But as always is the case, the last word goes to our pastoral care coordinator. And we invite forward now Mr. Zacharis, who has led this year group for three years. Ms Donovan, Mr Griffiths, staff, students and the U12 class of 2018. I started this journey three years ago as your year coordinator when I took over from Mr Mitsev, who took over from Mr Turner. You certainly have had a few year coordinators and I'm not too sure what this has said about this year group. <laughs> so to those previous coordinators, I say thank you for the role you have played in getting these young adults to where they are today. It seemed just like yesterday that I stood in front of you at our first year assembly and spoke to you about goals and expectations and how watching the pennies and the pounds will come. The journey since then has been a very memorable one. For all of you to get to where you are today hasn't been smooth sailing along the way. You have, been, you have experienced many challenges, but to your credit, you have gotten through them and have become stronger people. There have been many highlights but most of all was how well you have taken to your responsibilities of being leaders and role models to the younger year groups. You led the way, every, you led the way in every aspect of the school, from carnivals, miser, social justice initiatives, liturgies, debating, oratory. Good Samaritan Day, and especially last Friday, when as a year group, you produced a fantastic Year 12 Act, and one that has set the, high, the bar high for future year groups to, to reach. The college has been ably led by Nora and Joel, along with our senior leadership team of Zoe, TJ, Chanel, Dominic, Madison, Braden, Courtney and Terry. You have taken to this task with great enthusiasm and shown outstanding leadership. To the house captains, Claudia, Jordan, Shana, Finley, Alyssa, Vanessa, Brock, Christy, Alexander, Isabella, Enzo, and Jason. You have all proven to be exceptional role models and when called upon, led from the front with clarity, compassion, and commitment, never steering away from any, any size role and carrying out your positions with respect, responsibility, and diligence. To your teachers who have guided you through the last six years and especially your stage six teachers who have been patient and spent countless hours preparing lessons, marked, es uh, marked exams, essays, and given feedback. To that, I say thank you. For going those extra yards, you can be very proud of what you have achieved with your students. To the ladies in the front office, thank you for the times I've come in and, and asked for a last minute request or you have had to put up with the same excuses for you 12 coming up late, uh, coming up for being late to school. 
I'd like to now take this opportunity to thank your pastoral teachers who have played such a significant part in getting you 12 to where they are today. Mrs. Weber from St. Anthony, St. Francis, Mrs. Martin, Good Shepherd, Miss Nassar, Holy Spirit, Miss Cook, St. Catherine, Miss Kuwaja, St. Therese, Mr. Borg, Old MC, Miss Celia, for all the support, guidance, compassion, and patience displayed to the graduating class of 2018. I cannot express how grateful I am. To Mrs. Roach, to Miss Roach, the assistant year coordinator, who joined the team at the start of this year, taking over from Ms. Mr. Birdo. Despite all the rumours going around that I got rid of him because he was a popular one and I was <laughs> jealous about him. I thank you for your support and caring nature you have given the class of 2018. Finally, to you, the class of 2018, I thank you for the memories. I would like you to remind you of our theme for this year. You are the author of your own story. To my, today may be the end of this chapter in your story and I hope you have filled your story with many memories from the last six years of your time spent at Good Samaritan. I would like to express to, uh, to you what my time as you corner has meant. It may be small, but it is something I've reflected on over the last week that comes from the heart and how each letter will, um, will remind me of you. I will do this with the help of the partial teachers and would like to spell it out to you. The first letter is the letter E. It stands for elaborate. The excuses some of you use to avoid getting into trouble. For example, I am late, sir, because I slept in. Or I'm wearing my jersey and pee uniform because it is wet and I don't know how to use a washing machine. <laughs> and here's the forged note I've given to you from my parents. You, how organised you are or not. Oh, oh, sorry, that was oh, how organised you are or not. You, how understanding of others you can be. V, now that you, your time has finished a good Samaritan, take every opportunity to journey with compassion. Earl, how much I like you. <laughs> but most importantly, when you unscramble these letters, <laughs> so thank you, class of 2018. I'll never forget you, and may God go with you in whatever the future um, takes you. Thank you. Well, thank you very much, Good Samaritan, and um, thank you, Mr. Zacharis. It is um, wonderful to know, Year 12, that in particular there are many, many people who think very fondly of you, who know the journey is very difficult, but wanted to make sure that that journey goes with you. And a couple of things, Year 12, thank you. Before we finish, as a group, Year 12, you have contributed much to our community. And we are certainly much richer for the time you have spent with us. We hope that as you have grown in your faith and confidence, as you have developed a whole plethora of skills which will hold you in good stead 
in the years ahead. We too hope that you also gained much from the Good Samaritan community. For this is how a community works and flourishes. All contribute and all receive. I believe that as members of the Good Samaritan community, we each receive far more than we ever put in and that it is just one of the wonderful things about this community. But all good things must come to an end and your time as high school students here at Good Samaritan is at an end today. And so, the last thing that we would like to do as a school community before you leave is to bless you and so I would ask please Year 12, if you do this quietly, if you stand now please and turn around and face the Good Samaritan community. I would also ask our Year 7 to 11 students, if you just simply raise your right hand so together we can bless Year 12. And as we do this quietly, thank you. Year 12, may the road rise up to meet you. May the wind always be at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face and rains fall softly upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. We ask this blessing for our Year 12 2018 cohort through the intercession of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Led by Connor Kirby, Year 12.
Thank you very much, Good Samaritan. Could I ask you, Year 11, Year 11, could you just come straight forward and sit either side, please? Year 11, just come straight forward and sit either side. Thank you. Thank you, Good Samaritan. Just as our Year 11s take their seats, once again, we'd really appreciate you just to be quiet and to face the front. Thank you very much to our school community in the dignified way in which we send out our Year 12 students today. It is a wonderful opportunity then for them to celebrate. But again, it's important that the milestones are in front of you, Year 7 through to 11. And we encourage you to take what you could from this assembly and to challenge yourself to place goals in place so that one day you too will be celebrating that milestone of Year 12. With 10 minutes remaining before recess, could I ask students just to simply listen to the following instructions, please? I would ask that under direction of your PC coordinators and teachers in a moment, is that all year seven, eight, and nine, and 10, if I could ask you to go directly to your PC class, when the bell rings, it will be time to go to recess, and then we will be back on normal time, and therefore uh, undertake our normal periods from three, four, and five to conclude to today. So therefore, under the direction now of your PC coordinators, uh, and your teachers, I would ask at our Year 7s and our Year 9s and 10s and our Year 8s to move back to PC for the final 10 minutes. Thank you.